Welcome back on Transgroom TV. Today it's all about clapping the head of the poodle. You see me uh, drawing a line with my finger from the tip of the eye to the ear. All the hair that's under that line you have to shave off. Then you take below the ear, you see my finger below underneath the ear, you draw a line to the middle of the throat. So when you do that on both sides you have a V. Here you see me using the Amigo. I shaved the head from a poodle on stand 3 on the Amigo. You can use this or you can use a 10 blade on a regular clipper. The 10 blade is 1,3 millimeters. It's the same length on the stand 3 of the Amigo, so that doesn't matter. So if you clip the face from a poodle or another breed, that doesn't matter, please clip away from the eye. So I tighten up the skin very smooth and I very gently take all the hair off. I'm shaping the line here to the throat. You see me clipping just on one side from below up and I take off all the hair. It's like a puzzle. Okay, you see here that I'm putting my thumb in the mouth of the dog and I straighten the lips because it's, sometimes it's very dangerous if you clip the hair of the lips. I don't push on my clipper, I just let my clipper do the work. I'm tightening up the lips and take all the hair off with the corner of my clipper. I start to clip the bridge of the nose just between the two eyes. You see me always pulling my clipper away from the eye. So if you have a black dog with a white skin, it's sometimes very difficult because you see the, the skin through the hair. Uh, also, this is an, a little bit of an older dog, so she doesn't have a lot of hair. But I really pay attention that it's clean, that everything is the same length. It's better to take your time than to go fast and not have a good result. So I'm starting the other side, also the same line from the eye corner to the ear. It's really important that you take off most of the hairs on both sides and then afterwards you can finish. So I start from the ear to the eye. I'm holding the face straight or I'm trying to hold the face straight. I always listen to the dog language and I don't want to hurt the dog. Sometimes it's very scary for a dog that he hurts the noise of a clipper. Even the Amigo clipper is a very quiet one. And you see here you have a V. You clip both lines. At the throat you have a point and you can put your fingers and you create a V. I really use my corners of my blades. Don't use your whole blade to clip lines. Just use the three teeth of the corner of the blades to create a really straight line. Also on the lips, just in the middle of the lips you have a, a little hole and if you don't clip that off it's really strange. Here I'm showing you what you don't have to do, what you cannot do is from the nose to the eye. Please don't do that because it's very dangerous to injure the dog's eye. So away from the eye and to the nose. Just below I put a little bit smaller, uh, I use it on stand two. If he has a lot of hair I can even put it on the shortest stand because it's cleaner. Uh, you see the lips of the dog better and just between the lips and the nose uh, it's much cleaner uh, if you put your blade or your amigo a little bit shorter. Just that spot because it's really bold there. Uh, be careful if you do it on a white dog because sometimes you will see the pink skin and that's not really nice. You can also go a little bit shorter there on the corner, you see, and you shave it all off. That's the only two spots I use it a little bit shorter. 
don't stand still with your clipper machine. You have to be in movement all the time because if you stand still with your clipper, you give your clipper or you give your blade the time to go in the skin. If you are in movement and you don't stop moving with the clipper, the chance that you can injure the dog is less than if you stand still with your clipper. And here I'm finishing every detail. Here you see the finishing result from the eye to the ear, below the ear. You make a point with your clipper and you go to the trough. So it's like a triangle. And all what's in between those lines, those from the ear to, from the eye to the ear and from the ear to the trough, what is in between those lines, you all shave off. Don't go too low with the line in the trough because it's 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 really for me it's really ugly if you go too low. From the eye to the ear. The V, all what's in between, you shave off. Here you see the finishing result. See you next time on Transgroom TV.